morning peeps welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna head out to um jasper coffee in fitzroy so i'm just doing my makeup and you can see what my day is like today so um, now i'm ready i'm gonna drive to jasper and i'm gonna see all the jasper equipment my vlog i'm gonna actually gonna focus on coffee now so something different to everything i've seen around so yeah Hi guys, um, now I'm going to be in these days with this, um, I hope everyone's being you know, safe, I'm healthy, um, keeping active as I would say, not lounging around like as some people have been doing, like me and myself. Um, I just still keep quite active doing like some home workouts. This vlog is basically going to be about um, how to make coffee at home. I'm gonna show you guys a bit about what kind of coffees I make at home, um, how I make it, um, the way I do it. There's probably not the, probably the recipe that some people do elsewhere. Um, I'm actually gonna give you a little introduction about where I work because um, in the future I also want to open my own cafe. So I've been working at Jasper Coffee. It's been around since 1989. It's run by both my bosses, by uh, Wells and Marilyn. Jasper Coffee holds the biggest single origin bean, the largest stock in Australia of single origin. Um, they have a whole different types of blends. They have fair trade, organic. Um, they're actually from around the world, but we get them in by green bean and we also roast it here in Collingwood. So with the coffee, they like to show the distinctive flavors, the different types of flavors, the different types of body and the aroma that comes from all the beans. Um, some people don't actually know the difference, they just want a good coffee. The good thing about Jasper Coffee, they're very big on about sustainability. They are B Corp um, cert certificate, I should say. Um, that means they, uh, all the profits, not all the profits, some of the profits that we that we make of the beans goes back into the farmers to help along, um, you know, the farmers to help them grow, like, you know, better their lifestyle. So, um, you know, and there's biodegradable. We try to, you know, um, use recyclable things. We've actually eliminated a majority, a lot of plastics from a lot of our things, uh, a lot of our products. So yeah, there's just a little bit about, you know, just the coffee and I just, yeah. So now I'm going to show you that I'm good. My first type of coffee, um, making coffee at home is the Avanti stovetop. It wasn't my first. Uh, I think it was my second thing that I owned to make coffee. So I will show you how I'm going to be making this, um, how I make my coffee and yeah, we'll just get in. So the coffee that I'll be using is the Ethiopian Yoga Chef. It is organic fair trade. It's one of my favorites. I'm like, not the favorite, but sorry, I had to put um, But it's one of my favorites. Like, ugh, it's incredibly smooth. And um, it has this chocolate almond, like, you know, tasting notes. Um, I reckon like through coffee machine, it's quite smooth. It's very, it's not as strong as it. Like I, you know, as time goes on, it hasn't been that strong. Um, I would definitely, it has a good body. It's got a creaminess body if you drink it with milk. Um, it's, well, it's amazing with full cream, um, skinny milk. Soy is okay depending on what soy milk you in. Almond, I think it's okay but not the greatest with almond milk, depends again with the almond. But I will drink this black um, with a stove top. Um, back to the Yoga Chef. Um, it is you know, a local heirloom from you know the Kosher region. Um, the altitude of this coffee is going in like 1400 to 2400 meters and it is a wash coffee. So the wash coffee, wash coffee means it is depulped and then usually fermented to promote the separation of any of the um, you know the 
the pectin still stuck in the bean and then it's washed um, clean prior before it's dried out. So there'll be two different types of, um, you know, ways coffees are, you know, made, uh, you know, uh, processed, sorry. Um, yeah, but the ones that I have at home, I have all the washed ones. Um, the, nat the other one, the natural coffee, it is basically um, just dried out and then that's how it is. There's two different ways. So let's get making to our, make our coffee and yeah. So this one, you, it's, um, you have to screw it. So you've got your little filter in there, you fill water in here. Um, the basic way that I tell people you should use cold uh, water, but my cheat way is I put warm water in. Because the reason is when you actually put your cold water in here and when it boils on top, boiling up there, um, the water in here, when you boil, when you get from cold to hot, it takes time. So when the cold water goes up, um, when the warm water, sorry, when the warm water goes up, it um, it doesn't have enough pressure going up the valve. So you, there'll be a valve that you can see there. Um, yeah, there's not enough warm water. Uh, the pressure doesn't, it cannot push it all the way up. And because you've got coffee in that middle part, um, it will go up and it's still got to soak all that coffee. So that coffee has to actually absorb all that water before even going through up. It's like pushing, putting water going through, running down through sand. It's not going to go right through. It's just going to absorb it. And that's still, if you're only putting a little bit, it would not get down to the bottom. So that water, because the pressure is not um, strong enough, so this water, it will go up and it will just go back down into this chamber. So all that coffee is kind of starting to over extract a little bit. So I, when I put warm water, it's already kind of halfway there. Do not put boiling water in there. Um, I have done it before, there's nothing wrong, but you know, it should, I would recommend doing warm water, maybe slightly a little bit warm, and then it will push it up and then you won't be ex over extracting your coffee as much as you would be doing it. So and it will just end up in the, up there. What I'm going to do is put some of this yogurt shake in. So what I do, I just put this on. So I don't collapse it. It's um, not good to collapse because, you know, um, the pressure of the coffee cannot go through. So it's like putting two... Um, like two cements together, you push it so tight, nothing can get through, so there's no point. So what I do, I put a small little mountain, obviously made a little bit of a mess. The reason I don't collapse it is because of this, this will push it down. And then put it on top here. And yeah, it just turn on. And we shall wait. I'm just gonna show you guys what's happening inside. See, the coffee is coming out at the bottom and it's building up. Okay, let's let it cook. Let's let it brew a little bit longer. it'd be about done now usually when it starts making like that noise it's about done um, I don't like it running to the end so it doesn't um, you know what's it called it doesn't burn the bottom there you go I have my beautiful coffee now it's kind of hot but yeah like I'll be showing you guys how all the different um, ways of making coffee at home um, let me know don't forget to comment on how you drink your coffee and how you make your coffee.